got the ripper on a pallet. Can you say it one more time? <laughs> Sometimes you're good help. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Oh. Got the ferry diesel service sign. Welcome back to CNC Equipment YouTube channel. Quit making noise, Tucker. What are we working on today? We're working on a few projects in this video. First thing we're going to do is install this big old monster root rake on the bulldozer. And it's not that bulldozer, is it? Who's beating over there? I don't know. Don't they know we're filming? We've got a green John Deere 850J. We're going to get this thing installed. We had this custom built by East Attachments. Uh, they've got it built for the semi U blade. I'm curious if it fits. We gave them a bunch of measurements and stuff, so maybe next time you can build one, Tucker. Where are you going to get the steel for it? Oh, we got steel for days. You got that? Yeah. You see all those pipe layers out there with big chunks of weight on them? That's right. That's awesome. right. Hey, why don't you come out here and grab a bulldozer for us? I don't know if you guys remember this dozer. This is the one we rebuilt the engine in uh, earlier in the year. So, anyway, customer bought it. We're going to try to get the old root rake installed on this thing. We've got another 850 over there. You guys been watching videos on it. It's uh, sold actually. So, Perfect. Perfection. All right, we got her sitting about where we want it. Fitting pretty good. Um, we've got to notch this blade here. Kevin's got a couple marks here. We're going to notch those out with the plasma cutter. So these brackets way over here sit nice and level. Tucker or whoever can get a nice weld job on them. So. Tucker, whoever, are you going to be here in the morning? For what? Your three hours working every day is kind of like... At least you have me. Maybe we'll get them tacked for you. Then when you get here, you can weld her tomorrow afternoon. Part two of this video. Mr. Tucker is wrapping up the uh, chrome cylinders. We're using 3M welding spark paper so we don't mess up that chrome on there before we start cutting. Oh, I put this on my own thing, to be honest. What? Nothing. Nothing to see here.
Yeah, let's get this. So we got these sitting here. We gotta raise the blade up a little bit for these to hit, right? Did your friend Kevin not grind it out right for you? No, I kind of cut down. That's why you got that little. <laughs> you fill that hole in. You ready? Fire her up. Get a floor jack. Get a floor jack. Up a little bit more. Up a little more. All right, we got the blade sitting up. Everything's looking good. Tucker's gonna get. Uh, Can I tack this yeah, we're waiting on you, bub. We're gonna get some tacks on it here for stuff bleeds off. It's towards the end of the day here. As the guys left, Mr. Tucker's going to get this thing all welded up, and uh, we'll probably get some paint put on it tomorrow. So I guess we'll see what it looks like in the morning. All right. See ya. You all kinds of BBs right now. All right, Mr. Tucker got all those welded up, looking good. You got to make them green. What are you doing, tape man? I'm going to go next door. What a friend's of Mary Diesel service. They sent us apart. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. You got some new gloves. Boom. These yes. are large gloves. Large short. Large, extra wide. No. And we got extra large. <laughs> nice, nice. I bet there's an injector in this box. Hmm. I'll go next door and we'll see what we're going to put this in. All right, next project here while Kevin's painting that uh, 850. We've got this 700J, you guys might notice it's in the body shop, not the most ideal place to be working on it, but uh, after Randy got it all clean and everything, we did notice injector number two up here leaking. I don't think they had it seated all the way, you can tell it's a different color. Somebody's replaced it or something, so uh, I called up our friends at Area Diesel Service, gave them the John Deere part number, um, boom like that, he said I got you one coming the next day. So we got a genuine standard on injector from them guys. Just a simple deal, so we hope it's simple. We got to uh, pop it out, but it is not seated all the way. I know it's gonna be hard for you guys to see, but uh, I got peel coming out around the base of it, so that's not a good thing. So I'm hoping that it's uh, not built up with carbon in there, so those things go directly into the cylinder. They're not all the way down. Carbon gets built up in there. If not, we'll have to get it uh, all cleaned up, but uh, yeah. We're gonna get this thrown in there. Big shout out to those guys. If you're not seen, definitely need to go check their YouTube channel out. They got a bunch of stuff. You guys know we've collaborated with them before. They've collaborated with several other um, YouTubers, but really do appreciate them helping everybody out. So we'll see if we can get this old one out. I got that injector out. I blew down in there some. I'm gonna make sure. I think it's hard to see in there. I don't have any carbon in there. Build up. It's kind of hard to get anything in there. All right, there's the new injector. It comes with the seals and everything on it. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little lube on it and try to stick it down in there. All right, got a little grease on it. Let's see if we can't get her to go in there. Yeah, I think 
think she went. Can't definitely see the down all the way. Hopefully, well, we're good. Alright, we got her in there, got her all tightened up. I did spray some brake, brake cleaner in there, got everything dried up. We're gonna start it up here and see what it does. You guys got everything taped up here. Alright, so when we put in, it all dried up. It was leaking around the base down there. This one here, I couldn't tell because there's a few of them. It's leaking out of this little hat here. So, I don't know if we might be able to take it off. There may be some O-rings under there, I think. We'll see if we can fix it. At least it's not leaking where that other one was. Alright, I got the top to break loose here. Things got I think it's got some metal on it where people's been a cranking on it. I think the uh, best thing to do here probably to call area diesel service and get another new injector in there. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a phone call area diesel service and get us another injector. Somebody's been in that thing. It's like chewed up and I don't like what I'm seeing. That one back here was definitely leaking that we just replaced. So I'm going to go ahead and call them, get another one of those sent over and uh, hopefully we'll get it replaced here later on in this video. I didn't know no better. Almost looks like those come on there from the factory, bud. Kevin did another beautiful paint job. Are we ready to hook this thing up? You're greasing pins up. You're like overachieving today, I aren't you? I want people to not struggle when they have to work. On okay. It. We're going to get this dude fired up. Get the jack stands out. Hopefully we can lower her down a little bit and get the pins in there. Alright, Mr. Mason, it's all on your shoulders.
Looking good, looking good. Well, that helped it up. It didn't break. Mason did a good job. Good job, Mason. I think that fits pretty good. I'm sure somebody tear it up. I bet this dozer's going to Texas. The people in Texas love rakes and rippers, don't they? They got all the mesquite bushes they're trying to get rid of. All right, we got that all done. That thing is ready to ship out the customer that's paid for and everything. We are uh, waiting on that injector. Should be here tomorrow from Aerie Diesel. We do have a ripper to take off the machine here after a bit too, so we'll see you guys here in a few minutes. somebody poured concrete out here to work on so uh, we've had this dozer for sale for a little while we had a ripper for sale off another dozer Jay sold it every time he sells something somebody calls and they want what we just sold but we got another one on the machine here since this dozer has been for sale for a few months it's not been selling we're gonna sell this ripper separately we got a guy that's actually already paid for it so we're gonna take it off we've got a hitch and a back plate to put back on it so we're gonna get this shanked off. One other thing we gotta to do too is supply him with the valving for this um, ripper. So we gotta take this valve out in there. We'll do that here after a bit. I'll show you how we do that. But first thing we're gonna do is pull these teeth over, flip them, standing straight up. That'll allow this thing to sit on the pallet better than anything else. And we're gonna pull out some of these hard bolts way down in here that's uh, hard to get to. And we'll try to yank it off here. Question is, are you a man? It's like it's heavy or something. Okay, I got it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, gosh. What are you doing? There. I bet you don't have a hole lined up, right? I bet I'm pretty close. <sighs> Please hold. Who's the man? Apparently you're not. I don't see you lifting. Hang on, let's go the way with this one. Remember, Why is like that, Mason? Hey, you know what? What do you know? You should be paying me for working out in this beautiful morning. I'm a little bit chilly. <laughs> yeah. You just want to wear your fast cut hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to yank some of these bolts out of here. It's right here on the machine waiting on you.
the good news is I haven't seen a one of them move. I think I fall off. Yep. I feel safe now. Okay. What you got there, Bobby? Piggy mat? Piggy. I'm going to uh, throw a mat down here. We're going to unhook these hoses that I broke loose off camera, just like the big TV shows. Oh, yeah. You know all we need right now? What's that? We just need micro to narrate the whole thing. Oh. You know? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. We could sound like Gold Rush or something. You got any plugs or anything? I got them right here, Nancy. Waiting That's for good. you. That's all I hear. Somebody's prepared today. Not even leaking that much oil. If we'd done this inside, we'd have had oil spraying everywhere. What's the deal? <laughs> it's back in its natural environment. We just got a little dribble. We could have used paper towels for that. Okay. That was the last bolt. We're just gonna hold it and dive up the dozer or what? You going down a little bit? You got a little bit of space in the top. Go on down a little. Oh ho ho ho! Go on down. Okay. That's one ripper off. Quick detach. And detach. Ooh, look in there. That's probably good. Getting it real close to the pit. That way we can pull a vacuum on it so we don't have a big oil bath. Hey, Bob, you did great.
Is this your first time? My first time driving a bulldozer. Okay, all right. All right, got the tractor back in here. Kevin pulled out the uh, hydraulic tank plug, and he's down here in the pit. You need one of them. I need the adapter too. Okay. I got this custom John Deere 855 adapter that we made. It's going to screw in here and we'll hook this line up to it. So Kevin's got our vacuum going. Hook this up here. Alright, so it's going to be hard for you guys to see in there. I'm going to take this hose clamp, put around the three valves that we're going to leave in there, to keep those sucked up tight while we take the other section apart. So we're pulling out the fourth valve. That runs a ripper, so. I remember doing this once for a very famous person. Oh, yeah, big time guy on YouTube. What's yeah, his name? He's a legend. I forgot his name. Dale. Bob? Something. Bob, I can't remember. Bob the Dozer. He's got something builder? about dirt, like. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we're going to get that yanked out here and we'll be back. All right, we got the back plate off. We got the hoses loose. Man, that Papa Randy missed a bunch of dirt in there, didn't he? Papa! How did you miss it? <laughs> Where are you at? Did you get him? Uh, no, I'm, I'm now hold on. Alright, try it now. It's about out of my reach. Uh, get her? Uh, we got clampage. Clampage? Clampage. Okay. Say it again. You guys are good help. There, there you go. What do we do? <laughs> oh, I don't know. We were doing my job. You're palletizing parts. Getting stuff ready to ship. Got the ripper on a pallet. Can you say it one more time? <laughs> Sometimes you're good help. We got the ripper all off, valves, got the guy, the longer bolts, Kevin's got the valve all cleaned up, taped up, Jay and them can get that all packaged up, ready to ship out. Okay, Bob. Here at CNC Equipment, we believe it's easier to move the dozer to the hitch than the hitch to the dozer. So that's all we're gonna do. Come on back. That's probably good. We can probably get it from there. That's why we did that, right? It's easier to move the dozer to the hitch than the hitch to the dozer, right? Well, we should have had this hitch on like five minutes ago. But somebody got the wrong size bolt. Well, see, I was looking at And I even wasn't going to say nothing about it on camera, but you told me to turn it on. Go ahead, it's fine. We all make mistakes, right? That's right. Just some are That's why this channel's others. real, because we just show all the mistakes. We don't, we don't edit stuff out. Good thing we tapped these bolts out. Oh. Ah, mine are in. I wasn't gonna hold it no more. I got mm -hmm. mine in. <laughs> Real swell guy. <laughs> Job's almost completed, other than a little bit of. Oh, you're gonna use the trigger. That's what professionals do. Oh. All right, Kevin's gonna make that pretty again. Unfortunately, we're gonna to put this thing back up for sale with some new pictures because oh. it doesn't have a ripper now. So, but uh, 
that's Jay's project later on. He can tell us how good of a job we did again. So hopefully our injector shows up from Aero Diesel, and uh, we'll get it put in here in a bit. Say it again, Jay. I'm working outside in the beautiful sun today. No, say it again. Look at that. Oh, look, beautiful. No, even paint work required. Look at that. Oh, we're gonna paint it just for you. You guys are the best. Good work. Say it again, Jay. A team, go. Hey, bub, what'd you get there? Mm. Package from Carneyville, Illinois. Carneyville. Isn't it Carneyville? Area Diesel Service, Carlinville. Sorry, Area Diesel Service. Carneyville. That better. doesn't look like an injector to me. It's the world's biggest injector. I think they may have sent us a banner. One injector. Another injector. Those guys are on it. Get that thrown in in a bit. What'd you get there? Boom! Oh. Got the Ferry Diesel Service sign. I know where that's going. Right up there. Well, we're back on this thing. It looks a little bit different than you guys seen it when we put the first injector in it. But uh, had an injector show up yesterday. Kevin is actually painting the uh, charcoal on it, so not ideal situations. But uh, we did drive it in here. You guys can see we put pig mats and everything in there, so if it had any fuel leaking, it wouldn't run down and make a mess. So I'm gonna hop up here and get this one changed out. All right, got that injector out, got the new one in there. Everything's looking good. I was gonna take, I took this top hat off here. I'm gonna show you, if you guys can see. But, uh, somebody's been cranking on that thing pretty hard and it had metal debris in there. They had a leak, something going on there. So anyway, these things are super inexpensive. I could call these a pencil injector. They're a very simple, simple thing. I don't think they even rebuild them. At this present moment, they just get new ones, but uh, yeah, I don't know if he'd been in there cranking on that thing, but that was part of our leak too. So I think when I got in there and fixed that one leak and loosened those fittings up, it must have uh, messed that seal up I had cranked down there. But uh, anyway, everything's all good. We ready to fire this thing up, see if we get any leaks? Sure. Get stuff all over your pretty paint job? Sure. You did another beautiful job, by the way. Say it again. It looked totally different just a few minutes ago in video oh this is what two days of waiting on FedEx get you a paint job <laughs> do you want to do the honors over there and I'll watch the fuel spray <laughs> Woo! 
Hey, you know it helps when you tighten up the injector line. I figured. Just I just, I just, test, no, I'm just bleeding it out, see? Yeah, it was just a test. <laughs> What's the saying? Don't do as we do, something like that. Oh, I don't know. Look at all those air bubbles coming out of there. That's, yeah. It was a test. It was a test. Yeah, it, it's working good. We'll be back here in a couple seconds. Take two. I see some stuff bubbling up in the exhaust, but nothing to be worried about. It won't catch on fire, right? Okay. All right, that's a wrap on this one. Kevin's got this thing looking top notch. We got our diesel fuel leak stopped now with the courtesy of Area Diesel Service. I can't thank them enough. If you guys have not done so, go over and check them out. I'll put a link to their uh, website down below and go check their YouTube channel out. They got an awesome YouTube channel. We've done a few collaborations with them. If you guys want to see the in depth of these, uh, Injection pumps, turbos, that kind of stuff. They've done a lot of collaborations with a few other YouTubers, but uh, I highly, highly recommend those guys for sure. Um, they know what they're talking about. They got locations in uh, Indiana, Iowa, and Illinois as the head office there. So can't thank those guys enough for all the support of all the YouTube channels and stuff. So, you guys looking for tractors like this, definitely go check out our website, ccsurplus.com. We've always got plenty of stuff in stock. So, We'll catch you guys next time. We appreciate you watching. Aerial Diesel Service. www.aerialdieselservice.com